Today we're gonna find out if you can survive the wilderness while in third person VR. For the next 24 hours, my world is gonna look a lot like an actual video game because this isn't just a fancy backpack. It's a custom camera rig I made with a little help from the Wise Task Force. This thing uses a special 3D camera and smartphone VR headset to let you see yourself like you're actually living in a game like Skyrim. Also thanks KiwiCo for sponsoring. Where, where, where are we? Oh, man, I feel drunk. Okay, I can tell from the way the sun is, which is over there. That's east, that's west, so that's gonna be south and north. I'm lost as f but this rig actually works really well. It's hardwired to the headset, so there's basically no lag, and because the camera has two lenses, I'm actually still able to see the world in 3D. It's just in a third person perspective. My thinking is, I figure we'll find water at the bottom of the valley. It's really hard to see because the exposure is really intense, but. Ew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Looks and sounds like running water to me. <laughs> oh, wait. Ah, ooh, actually, yeah. The water tastes fine to me. Okay, cool. Probably shouldn't be drinking that as that water is not that moving, but you know, I mean, it rained recently. I'm sure we're fine. I'll let you know if I go to the hospital later. Okay. Water covered, we should probably start looking for a place to uh, look for some food and hopefully spend the night, so. Blah. Oh. Man, that's a, that's a workout. Babe. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Take that, rock. Now we gotta forage for some food. So I see some sort of growth over here. We might be able to just look around for some berries or some nuts or something hanging off a tree. Is there anything on here? They aren't that high in nutrients. I've never heard of people eating these things. It looks... Nah. Nah. I, I think maybe try to forge something better. Oh, that's bright red. Is that like an apple? Looks like an apple. That seems weird. That doesn't really seem like an apple tree. What the? Well, hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, I guess. All right, let's go prepare ourselves some food, shall we? Foraging, foraging, very successful. Probably we're left here by some uh, other campers or something, but I'll probably clear a little bit of ground and try to make a little fire just to sort of cook the outside at least. At least we're not doing this in the dark, right? That'd be extremely challenging. I'm about to get extremely good at this very quickly. We have the water nearby, so we can put it out if we need to. Let's get out one of these hot dogs we foraged. That's totally gonna fall apart in the fire. Yeah, I just can't see the fire anymore as soon as the sunlight hit it. Come on. Ah, man, we, we worked hard to forge these. <laughs> now that's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that smells like cooking hot dogs. Am I right? Oh, that's coming along. Yeah, that needs to be a little bit longer in there, but. Yeah, all right. Maybe if. Okay, you know, I'm gonna leave the hot dog in place. Yeah! Mmm. That was some good hot dog. So glad we foraged those. All right, so that'll give us enough to survive till tomorrow. Yeah, we ought to put out this fire. We should probably start trying to set up a shelter. Dude, this is so trippy. It really is like you're like looking at yourself. The lag is even like not bad. In a game, your camera is always really smooth. Whereas in real life, because it's attached to you, it's not. So it's starting to get a little bit later in the day. You can tell uh, by looking at the sky and wow, everything is white. So we got to find some shelter. We got to make a fire. We have to, we're going to follow this trail, but we're not going to be able to make it back to our camp before morning. My POV, it's like I'm seven feet tall and I'm obviously not. Look at this tree. Oh, pfft. wow. Hello. That's some moss though. I can really see a lot of the detail there. The one thing is you can't really see the floor beneath your feet because like, it's just not in your perspective. All right, I mean, now we're getting out of the forest. Right, we're trying to escape the wilderness, of course. Definitely not venturing. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, I was like, I'm getting the hang of this. Nope. <laughs> I think we found a good site. This looks pretty good. I think that we'll be able to work with this area. I keep looking left and right as if I can see and I can't. What I'm basically gonna make is sort of like a lean-to type shelter. Um, take a bunch of smaller sticks and logs and lean them up against the side um, to shelter you from the wind and sort of like keep some warmth in. Look, you can perceive the depth, but like it's not the same as your eyeballs, all right? I'm just putting that out there. Oh, oh, it's like, it's like it was made for me. Look at that, it's practically done. It's not, it's far from done, but we're gonna start with this log right here. It's not like too rotted through. Let's start looking for some smaller sticks. Come to Papa. What the fuck is that? That's a, it's just a branch, okay. One. <laughs> now we just need a lot more of those. 
It'll be easy, they said. It'll be fun. You've done this before. How much harder could it be in third person? Man, it was like night vision until it stopped being like night vision. Man, this really is like Bear Grylls. Totally unassisted survival. Okay, so this is looking really good. This is a great structure, but I need to cover it somehow. I would normally get leaves, but it doesn't seem like there are a lot of leaves around here. Mm, maybe if I just shake a tree. Oh, whoa. Oh man, someone must have accidentally left. This is perfect. Wow, hopefully we don't find their body. Well, anyway, how convenient. <laughs> all right, I'm trying to protect myself from the breeze, all right? This will stop us, you know, in case a tree branch falls on us, this will protect us, you know, in case like a bear comes and tries to fight, this will protect us. This is bulletproof, all right? This is, this is fine, I'm, I'm happy with that. What's up, MTV? I'll, welcome to my crib. We're actually pretty protected from the outside in here. Do I look sheltered? We're pretty much protected from the outside elements, you know? Well, now that we've got the shelter, we're good for the night. Let's make sure we build a fire. If I got stranded for real, I would definitely have my phone. I mean, I am stranded for real, of course. Obviously, I would never fake anything for a YouTube video. Fortunately, I was stranded out here with my uh, lighter. Who wouldn't be? Oh boy. Oh man, I can't see my hands. Don't try this at home. This is actually a little bit dangerous. There we go, there we go. Oh, hell yeah. Shh, it's fine. It's fine. Hold on, here's, here's my secret weapon. Let me add this guy. A good thing I brought my survival flashlight. Watch this. All right, hold on. We're gonna try one more time with matches. That just go out. All right, let me just be clear. This is so much harder than third person. I thought this would be like, nah, it's easy, dude. I've done this so many times in first person. How hard could it be? Damn, I wish I was California right now. You sneeze hard, it starts a fire out there. All right, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of off-camera grinding. It's, you know, it's not that I don't wanna film it right now, it's that I just, I don't wanna run out of space on my SD card. So I found some wood and an old abandoned fire pit. How convenient. And I also happen to find a little fire starter. Let's see if I can even light this thing. <laughs> I see that I need to aim. It's hard, I can't see my hands. All right, like it's all in front of my face, which you would think is easy. That was, that was the smooth side of the box, just for the record. <laughs> okay, so we've got a fire going. That's pretty awesome. Um, obviously the shelter's over there. We're just gonna use this to keep ourselves warm and then we're gonna go to sleep. Okay, so convenient. And this in the middle of the woods, who knew? Who knew? After I fell asleep, I started having this really weird dream where I'm assembling a kiwi crate in third person? Oh yeah, it's sponsor time. See all the cool stuff that comes with it? I can't really see because I'm in third person. Clearly I'm a huge fan of hands-on learning and KiwiCo designs super cool hands-on projects that are designed to expose kids to concepts in Steam. KiwiCo offers eight subscription lines, each catering to different age groups and they cover all kinds of topics. Like this one uses chemistry to make a pressure powered bottle rocket. All right, I've got this in the bag. Crap. KiwiCo now ships to more than 40 countries. The crates include all the supplies you need so you don't have to go to the store and it provides hours of entertainment. Oh, yes. I didn't think we'd get this far. Let's go. My VR rig might not be a world changing invention, but KiwiCo projects really teach kids the skills to problem solve, innovate, create, and they help them shape the world of tomorrow. Even I had a blast assembling this thing, and I know I would have loved these as a kid. I have no idea how this thing's gonna fly. Checking these out helps support the channel. You can get 50% off your first month of any crate by going to kiwico.com slash lewiswise or clicking the link in the description below. We got it. What's that? Oh, I think it's the morning. Ah. Uh. Okay, limbs still intact, yes. Uh, not covered in questionable bugs. No animals came to destroy the uh, shelter tonight, so I would call that a resounding success. Wow, this is very disorienting. Okay, thank you, humble shelter. Appreciate it, so convenient that we found this. Ow, thorns, ow, thorns, so convenient. Let's navigate our way out of here. Ugh, the sun is over there. No, it's not, sun's a... The sun is over there, which means that that's the east, since this is the morning. Probably west is our best bet of uh, finding our way back to civilization. I've been hearing some road sounds over that way. Ow, oh gosh, ow, ow. Oh boy, oh man. All right, hey, yes! Is this the camera? 
Well, we made it. Let me know what you want to see in VR next. Peace out. See you next time. Thank you, patrons as well.